My name is Tyler, I'm product manager here at Fazari Bikes. I want to discuss a little bit about our brand new Empire road bike. Uh, this is a project we've had in the works for quite a while. Um, we knew that we needed to develop something new um, in road bikes. We've seen a lot of different trends with in road bikes going you know, all the way from gravel to really, really big tires to aero bikes, comfort bikes. And we wanted something that was a little more capable. We wanted something that, that you could go put some really wide tires on and get on some rougher roads or something that you could go enter like a local crit race or do maybe a sprint triathlon on or that big century ride. Um, and we, we really went to the drawing board, put all of our heads together, uh, talked with a lot of our customers, a lot of our ambassadors, um, and just kind of our internal development staff of how do we bring that to market? How do we build that product? What did we need? What do we need to have? We wanted to make sure that we had something that was comfortable, first of all. Um, that was the biggest demand that we had is, hey, how do we, how do we make something comfortable for really long rides? Um, you know, we're, we're able to get out further than we used to be able to. How do we help support that? You know, is it tire clearance? Is it, you know, being able to carry bottles? What is that? What does that mean to a rider? But we also wanted something that was competitive, that was sporty. Um, and as we really brought all those together, we, we thought of a few new ideas. Um, you know, biggest and first most, and I'll, and I'll talk about it a little bit more, is, is our new monoform technology. But it's, it's our whole layup design um, and our molding technique that we use uh, in the Empire models. Um, we also wanted something that, like I mentioned, you could have the accessories on there. You're able to haul three bottles on this bike for big long rides, big wide tire clearance. We knew disc brakes were an absolute must. Uh, but then we wanted something that, that was pretty. We wanted it good to look at. We wanted to make sure when, when you were riding with your friends that you had the best looking bike uh, in the group. Um, and you know, a few things we did with that, kind of the aesthetic lines, but also hiding all the cables. Um, you know, I talk, just show you how we, how we did a few of those things. Uh, but first and foremost uh, on the Empire is our monoform technology. Um, essentially what that is, is we have figured out a way to lay up our entire frame as one piece. It truly is one mold. Traditionally uh, on bikes, they are two piece. Um, even though they, they claim kind of a monocoque, which means one mold or one piece, um, it really is two pieces. What it is, is a, a front triangle mold and a rear triangle mold. Um, and they're machined on the ends and they're brought together, they're bolt, they're, they're machine bonded uh, together, cured again, um, and it makes a really good structure. Um, that technique has been used for years and years and it's used on some good frames. Um, we found a few shortfalls with that. Um, one, it creates a dead spot in the chain stay and the seat stay um, because there's so much extra material basically from a joint that we're not able to tune through the chain stays and the seat stays, you know, so we, we lose some power. We're, we're getting you know, we're able to, to adjust the flex on the chainstay in the bottom bracket area, um, but we're not able to tune it all the way through. It's just shorter waves. We're basically, with the monoform technology, there's no bonding, and so we're able to make it one big, long piece. Um, same thing goes for the seat stays. We're able to make a more compliant, comfortable ride in the seat stays, again, because there's no bonding in that seat stay area, um, and it just makes a truer, more comfortable ride. We can flex that. We can make the seat stays flex all the way through the entire length of the seat stay. You know, it's not, we're not making them flex at the dropout and then up at the seat tube. It's really going all the way through the entire frame, um, which is a pretty rad uh, concept that we were able to develop. And then you look at power transfer, you look at a few of those other things. Um, in the chain stay itself, uh, again, you're having, you know, you're really dependent on that, that dropout area and the bottom bracket area. And you do get that, that dead spot in the middle, um, you know, back behind the bottom bracket on the front part of the chain stay. Um, and with the monoform technology where that is one piece, we have consistent wall thickness all the way through. Um, and that really helps with the power transfer. Um, it's something that in, in kind of our deflection test that we're measuring stiffness of a frame, it's drastically increasing the rear triangle uh, stiffness. Um, it does a couple other things in the manufacturing process. We're able to cut out actually six manufacturing processes. Um, and anybody knows really from manufacturing, if you can reduce the amount of steps, you actually decrease the possibility of an error. Um, so we're decreasing machining steps, we're decreasing bonding steps, we're decreasing uh, curing steps that really affect the ride quality of a frame um, and any potential error. We don't have to do any alignment uh, post cure alignment on the frame because we're not we're not bonding anything together. There's nothing to align. It's coming out of the mold perfectly aligned, um, and that is a huge advantage of the monoform technology. Um, you know why isn't everybody doing it? Uh, it's hard. Uh, you know the hardest part is making sure that we're getting consistent compaction, uh, making sure all of our layers are bonding. Um, we have some some pretty uh, pretty advanced techniques to make sure that we are getting consistent wall thickness, that we are getting consistent um, tech, uh, consistent uh, 
uh, compression in the layers during uh, bonding um, and, and molding. Um, and the real trick really comes down to our mold designs. Um, that's something we're super proud of. Um, the ride quality has just been, uh, it, it really, really changes. Um, you know, it actually went further than what we thought it would do. Uh, it really changes the quality that we're able to get out of the frame, you know, the stiffness um, and the compliance out of the bike. So thanks to Monoform Technology, uh, we're able to bring uh, the Empire uh, to life and really offer that, that real different ride quality um, with fewer steps in production. Uh, and so it helps keep our, our costs you know, really, really in line. Um, the molds are a little bit more difficult to produce, um, but with that, uh, it's really made a, a really killer product. Um, and everybody that's been on the bike has really attested to that. They've been, they've been really feeling the difference kind of in the power transfer versus some of the other super bikes that are available on the market today, uh, but also the comfort. Um, it's given us more flexibility to be able to uh, create a wider range bike instead of something that's so narrow. It's like, oh, it's a comfort bike. Oh, it's a race bike. Uh, oh, it's a gravel bike. Um, you know, oh, it's an all road bike, whatever it is. Because of this technology, we've been able to take a lot of those categories and bring them together. Um, you know, once we, we really we got Monoform uh, figured out, we kind of got we kind of went and looked and said, okay, what can we do in geometry? What can we do in tire clearance? What can we do in uh, you know accessory capacity on the bike? Um, and what are riders wanting to have happen? Um, so first first on geometry. Um, one of the biggest complaints, again, you know, we we helped with the Monoform and technology and the compliance of the frame was oh man, my back hurts. I get on these long city rides and my back hurts. Well, we actually took some of the things that we have learned from the mountain bike side and we brought them over to the road side. Um, and, and that really has to do with geometry of the bike. What we have found with riders is majority of the time why their backs are hurting and why riders think they need to sit so tall. That's the traditional take like on a comfort bike is like, hey, they make that head tube so tall, get us upright. Um, but what we're fi actually finding is we're observing riders and we're talking to riders. As they get on the bike, um, they're actually riding with a rounded back they're not able to get their hips rolled or after a while they fatigue and their lower back's rounded and they're basically doing leg presses with a rounded back. Like if you get into a gym and you do squats or leg presses with a rounded back, your back's gonna hurt the next day, I, absolute guaranteed. Um, you know, but if you're able to get your core engaged, able to get your hips in a proper position, um, you can, you're more efficient, you're more powerful and you're less likely to fatigue those muscles uh, uh, in your back that, that really is requiring based off that leg press. Um, and so we're able to help this a little bit with, uh, by adjusting our seat tube angles. Um, we're running a little bit, a touch steeper seat tube angle and that allows um, riders to roll their hips. They don't actually don't have to roll them as far to be able to engage their core and to match that saddle positioning. Um, and that has been a huge benefit and a huge feedback that we've had from riders um, that have ridden the bike. Really, really enjoy how they've been able to get more comfortable on the bike much, much easier without having to overcompensate um, and they're able to hold that position for much longer on the bike. Um, you know, and we're, we're able to get riders comfortable instead of just being that big, tall head tube. Um, you know, we're, able, we're still able to keep a little bit taller head tube uh, just for handling, but if that head tube gets too tall, we do reduce the handling. Um, be, and so we've run kind of our head tube lengths, our, our, our stack heights, uh, you know, kind of that, that middle range. We're not big, huge, tall, uh, you know, super endurance bike, but we're not a full like TT crit racing bike. We're kind of in that in that middle range, and we do that on purpose. One to keep the lively handling and cornering, uh, you know, but but kind of really have that all road feel um, on our geometries. The other thing that keeps the bike really sporty is our short chain stays, 410 millimeters. Uh, that allows the bike to be really snappy underneath you, uh, to be able to corner with confidence. You know, it's really going to stand up you know, when you sprint, it's really going to take off. So those are a few of the key kind of geometry features together with Monoform that have really allowed this bike to be so versatile. Um, with that, you know, a few of the other features, we made sure that we ran wide tire clearance up to 32C. Um, if you notice, every model of the Empire that we do offer comes with tubeless ready tires. They're really expensive tires. We really believe in tubeless uh, on the roadside, especially run those tire pressures a little bit lower. Rolling resistance is actually decreased. Um, you're able to go a little bit quicker, uh, but you can have the wired tire clearance and you can really pick your tire. Um, you know, run, run a 25C if you're doing something uh, more on the racing side or you want to be a little on the more sportive side, run all the way up to a 32 and kind of make that all road, you know, look for those, you know, pat gravel paths or even, you know, kind of those chip sill roads, or you just want something that's a little more comfortable. Uh, all of those options anywhere in between uh, really allows you 
uh, the versatility on the Empire. Um, disc brakes, obviously, uh, on this bike is only available in disc brakes with a flat mount, um, offering the, the great braking power. Uh, through axles really stiffens everything up and so makes that whole entire triangle with the rear triangle coming together with the hub, uh, just to make sure that everything is ready to roll um, and you do have the power and the braking performance that you need as you come down the mountains. Uh, one of the other things that we're really proud about is our fork. Um, if you notice kind of the, the thin, sleek lines on the fork, that does help with some of the vibrations out the front. Um, it's one we worked really hard on to make sure that we had all the proper strength, all the proper braking power, um, and what was happening under those braking forces and those braking loads uh, in that fork um, to make sure that, that you did have something that was one, good looking, but two, actually offered that road dampening vibrations uh, with those thin stays. Um, you know, again, a lot of that is, is thanks to some of our modern technology and what we've been able to do in our layout design um, we heard time and time again it's like oh you can't make a thin a thin stay fork with uh, with disc brakes it's just not stiff enough it's just not powerful enough well um, we uh, we we didn't quit we didn't take no for an answer and so we, we really worked hard on this one um, we're really proud of what we achieved on the fork itself uh, as far as aesthetics go, a few things you'll notice on the frame. Uh, we are using, we do have an option kind of on a higher end build to run the FSA ACR system. If you notice uh, kind of on the bike behind me here, there are no cables. Uh, you don't see anything. Uh, everything is fully hidden internal to keep that, cle that clean, sleek look on the cockpit, that really modern looking bike um, that allows us, I mean, really you have one of the best looking bikes out there in my opinion. Um, all the cables are internal, you know, there are some aerodynamic advantages of it, the aesthetic advantages of it, keeping things clean. You know, combine that with the, uh, the SRAM access wireless. Uh, we also do have Shimano builds available, uh, either wired or with the DI2. Uh, everything can be hidden internal. You don't see any of the cables um, to really keep that clean, sleek look uh, on the bike itself. Um, uh, other accessory wise, like I mentioned uh, earlier, we do have the capability to run three bottles uh, on some of our larger frames. You know, whether you're going on big, long epics and you want to have more hydration with you, you can use one of those as kind of a tool bottle. Um, or if you're racing, you know, run the two bottles and your, your secondary bottle is a little bit higher up on the seat, uh, on the down tube uh, to access that a little bit easier. Other little si simple things to keep cre creature comforts there. Um, if you're getting a frame set, want to build your own bike, you want to bring something over. Uh, we do run a standard 27.2 seat post. Uh, we did this for a couple of reasons one to offer the flex in the 27.2 but again so you don't have to have those crazy proprietary parts if you want to change something out or um, you know you, you like I mentioned you are wanting to get a frame set to build up your own um, it's a standard 27.2 we want to make things simple uh, bottom bracket uh, press fit BB86 uh, allows us access ports to the cable housing inside um, keep things light clean simple um, I Empire uh, is one that I personally am really proud of. Uh, I've spent a lot of time on it. Our whole team has spent so much time making sure the aesthetics were there. Um, the Moniform technology has been something that's been in the works for quite a few years. Um, something we're really, really proud of uh, to bring to market and to be able to offer to you. Uh, we do offer the Empire in a range of builds. Uh, and a, like I mentioned, uh, with every Fazari bike, we do offer a lifetime warranty on every single one of our frames. We stand behind our product. We believe our product is really the best uh, on the market. And we want to make sure that riders feel that as well. We want to make sure that when riders get their bike, it is the best riding, the best fitting bike. Um, and they know that, that we're here and we have your back. Uh, you can see all the details uh, of the Empire at Fazari.com.